Hey there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So I guess we need to talk about when is the appropriate time to call the police <laughs> because there is some confusion. Here's the thing, and this is what everybody needs to remember. There is no law so insignificant, so trivial, so stupid that a cop will not put a bullet in somebody over it. Every law is backed up by penalty of death. Jaywalking is my favorite example. If there's ever a law that shouldn't exist, that's it. Crossing the street in the wrong spot. Okay. So, you cross the street in the wrong spot. Cop writes you a ticket. You don't go to court day because you're not going to pay a fine for crossing the street. What happens? You've committed no violence at this point. Some men are going to show up. Or they're going to wait for you to get pulled over. And then they're going to throw you in a cage. Now, still, no violence, and you're already having violence visited upon you. But what happens if you refuse to go? You're not going to be thrown in jail over crossing the street. So you respond. You don't go with them. You resist. They kill you. You resist hard enough. They kill you. Every law how insignificant is backed up by penalty of death. And I'm going to pick it up right there. Giving all praises and glories unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect. Now I'll go on and, uh, and read and uh, play the rest of this video in a moment, but I have to uh, speak on a point. And bring out a scripture to this point, okay? Um, basically, you see this as a, what you would believe is an Edomite, you know? I watched a few of his other videos. He says he's Irish. He could not eat. And then the compassion he has, he may be a Jake. But for now, we'll, we'll continue with this Edomite thing, okay? So this man being an Edomite, if that's what he is, uh, understands the general basis of what's going on in the law. And he says something very true. Every law, no matter how minor, is 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 backed by the, the, the penalty of death. So let me get a scripture. I'm going to get a couple of scriptures. Bear with me. All right. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, that write grievousness which they have prescribed. Okay. His... Uh, his jaywalking thing is perfect in, 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 in explaining this. He he painted a picture of of what it's like. I'm not I'm not I'm not paying a fine for crossing the street, but you could end up with a bullet because of this stupid law. Okay? Because of how dumb this is, you you now can be under penalty of death and thrown in the cage before that and the or penalty of death. Because of crossing the street in the wrong spot. All right. But what is this for? Because they would do this. They would do this to, to, to you, you Israelites, you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Classic um, commonplace uh, of harassment in certain neighborhoods. They see you in a certain neighborhood. They'll get you if, you. if you resist even a little bit, guess what? Time to go to jail. Okay. Time to get a ticket. And for us. A little bit of jail time, a little uh, one ticket could, could be the difference. All right. It says, verse two, it says to turn aside the needy from judgment, the needy from judgment. We we, we need a car. <laughs> we need a uh, better pay. We, 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 we need better neighborhoods. OK, better education. We need Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We need his statutes, laws, and commandments. We need everything that the Most High had given us when he chose us upon this planet. Okay? That wisdom, we need that. Okay? That would change everything for us. But instead, being the damn devil, what does he do? Verse 2 said it. To turn aside the needy from judgment, to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey. To be a widow, you gotta kill the other. Um, the the other one has the other. Um, 
has to die. Okay, the husband or the wife, whoever, one of them has to die to be a widow. That widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. The children, the education system robs the fatherless. The, 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 the police enforcement that's supposed to protect and serve the people. That does not fit for, for, for you Negro Latinos and Native Americans. It does not. Particularly you, you Negroes. When the Constitution was written, guess what? You're three-fifths of a man, which means you cannot even uh, fit under the Constitution. The laws of the Constitution don't, don't, don't work for you. They don't apply to you. That's for a man. It's funny, uh, talking about all this women's liberation, that didn't fit for women either back then. Okay? Got another scripture. All right. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 60, um, 65, should I? Yeah, I'll, I'll read 65 because that's, that's the main point. I'll say the rest for another lesson. It says, verse 65, and among these nations, because the 64 tells you how the Most High God scattered us. All right. It says, and among these nations shall thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but shall give thee a trim." There a trembling heart, uh, a trembling mind, always scared of things, and failing of eyes, not seeing anything or any hope, and sorrow of mind, always sad, despair. Okay? Because just crossing the street, you can lose your life. Any interaction with a, a, a police officer can end your life. And that's supposed to scare you, you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Any interaction with, with, a, with, a, with a police officer could end your life. That's why all these... Women are calling the cops on you, okay? Say, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have none assurance of thy life. Okay? When they show up, there's no assurance of your life. You don't know what's going to happen the next day. It says, you, you, you go to jail for one night, you lose your job. Only way to work, you lose your job. Then guess what? You lose your job, then you turn around, and um, and now, now you're evicted. Now, now, now what? How far has this gone over jaywalking or, or a speeding ticket or something like that, right? Or, or, or a traffic stop, okay? So in the morning thou shalt say, what well, God, it were evening. I wish, I pray to God that it was evening. And at evening thou will say, oh, what well, God, it were morning. I will pray that it was morning. The time that you're in is never a comfortable time for you. For the fear of thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes thou shalt see. You always gonna be scared. So, interest of time, I gotta, I gotta go back to the video. Okay, you can never understand the fact of, of of how what it's like to be a Negro. We we're taught this by our fathers, by by our uncles, any man around, our, our mothers, so we can come home tonight, so we can make it back home to live another day. Okay, that's. That's something that in black culture that, that is taught. And I'm sure it's taught in all the other cultures. We don't talk back. We don't even resist the cop when he's wrong. We have to take the humble, low approach every time. If we don't and their, their badge of honor and gun don't, don't pose a, a physical threat to us, to where we fear them, they, they will usually press that upon us. Even, even you black Moors, when they push the law on you, it don't matter to them. They can always push you push you push you until they pull a, put a bullet in you and that's the and that's the object here okay <laughs> like, i don't understand and he asked he's like what do you think is going to happen if black guy gets loud and starts screaming at a white lady yeah somebody's going to call the cops then what's going to happen Somebody who was on his way home, minding his own business. First he gets harassed, and then he's got the cops showing up. He might get angry. What if he doesn't want to comply? What happens? Don't call the law <laughs> unless death is an appropriate response. Because it's a very real possibility every time you dial 911. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.
funny thing about it, that's so true. But that's also the reason why they do call. With that I'm going to close out giving all praises and glories and the by Shemir Hashem, by Shemir Rokakadash, double honors. This, wait, let me let me say this. These devils showing that they truly hate you and they will elicit any power that they possibly can over you to threaten you and to show that they have their foot still on your necks. And they are there, but we're, we're, we're through the power of Yahweh Bashim Shai, we're rising up from that. Okay? With that, I'm going to close out giving all praises and glories again unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Harakak Wadash, double honor to the apostles and others at Great Millstone. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect. Shalom.